Hi, Dr. Alina Koltitsky, Boutique Body Works. I'm here to show you another quick demonstration on an easy, healthy meal that doesn't take very long to make. We're starting in my garden because I'm going to take a few things from the garden. So let's start with hot pepper. This one looks nice. And next we're going to go to the mint. Ooh, the tomatoes are looking good too. Some cherry tomatoes are ready. It's gotten hot again. So things are looking a little dry. Ooh, and it's starting to flower. I need to trim back. Let's take those ones that have flowers. We don't want it to go to seed because then you're going to lose your herbs. They waste away after going to seed. If you want to keep them going, then you've got to take off those flowers. Okay. Now, let's get cooking. So today I'm going to make a simple meal with a protein a starch and lots of veg and seasonings. So let's start with cleaning these since we just got those fresh from the garden. This is a hot pepper. It's a little bit overripe actually because the skin has gotten wrinkly. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, the fresh mint smells really good. Now, I don't have any brown rice already cooked up, so I think today we'll do potatoes. I'll show you my quick way to cook a potato for a meal. Get my vegetables for a brush. I'm gonna wash it first, prep it, and then we'll cut out the eyes. You don't want to eat the eyes because it actually concentrates um, a toxic substance that you don't want to eat. So you want to make sure you clean that. So the eyes are these little bits. So we're going to cut those out. So which vegetables are we going to use today? So you can vary this, play with whatever you've got in your kitchen. Currently, I have always onion and garlic, or something of the family. I do have some leek, but that's going to take more time. And I want to do this a little quicker than longer. So I think I'll use onion, garlic, and cabbage. One of my favorites. Cabbage is in the cruciferous family. It's high in sulfurs or, and sulfurethane and that is really good for you because sulfur is needed for every enzymatic reaction in your body. Uh, it's needed for the mitochondria to function. So it's needed for every single cellular function in your body. Um, mitochondria are the respiratory organelle of your cell. It's responsible for the energy for the cell to function, it cannot function without mitochondria. So to keep your mitochondria healthy, you need sulfur. So cruciferous vegetables. Next, we're going to chop this. So I'm first gonna slice it this way. You can see by the width that I'm cutting it, or thickness. And then I'm gonna go into cubes. You can make it whatever sizes you want in terms of the shape, but know that the larger the cube is, the longer it takes to cook. Keeping them on the smaller side, they will cook much faster. And I'm going for efficiency. So I'm gonna cut them on the smaller side rather than bigger side. I don't want them to be minced or anything, just cubed. Okay, so that's one whole red potato. Now we're ready to put it in the microwave. Wash your hands or that starch is going to get all over everything. 
yeah, it has a, like a gritty feeling. And so that's just the start. So we're going to put it in the microwave for about three minutes. While that's cooking, we will prep the rest. So let's get out some onion, garlic, and I have some onion already started. My cabbage I've already been working on. And we need to get a new garlic head going. Okay, so I'm going to take one tooth. This whole thing is a bulb, but taking just one segment from that bulb is a tooth. Now, if you're going to be with people, maybe choose a smaller one. I will. I'm going to have a client still, so let's go for less. Okay, so that's ready. We're going to just take the end, cut off that little hard part. And just chop it. Or mince it, in this case. We're making it small. And this is to go with the seasonings. Okay. And the longer you cook the garlic, the more you're going to get rid of all the stinkiness, but you don't want to overcook it because it changes also the quality of the flavor. So be careful with that. Onion. Let's just use up the rest of this. I'm going to chop this into small. Okay, let's get our frying pan going with our tofu, onion, while I cut the cabbage. Okay. Let's get our extra virgin olive oil. I like this one quality. Notice it's in a dark glass bottle. That's what you want. Don't go for plastic. Make sure it's dark so that it keeps your olive oil from going rancid too fast. Store it in a dark place. So I keep mine in my cabinet out of the sunlight. Sunlight will make it go rancid faster. <laughs> Putting the excess from the bottle onto my hands. Okay, so let's turn the heat on. I'm going down on a like half level below. So on the lower end of moderate. And that is the potato. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's cooked mostly. That's gonna be hot, so I'm not gonna touch it yet. Next, we're gonna take our tofu. Put it on the pan. And let me park this. There we go, sort of. I'm not putting the garlic yet, so it's still in the corner here. I'm gonna do just the onion to get it going with the tofu cooking on its one side first. Okay. Now I can take out my plate with the potato. Let's grab the cabbage to chop it next. Because when I flip my tofu over, I'm going to add the cabbage into the pan at that point. So just little tricks you learn from doing. Okay. So I'm going to take a nice big slice. Now the tofu portion I have there is a three ounce. And that's only about nine grams of protein. With this one, it's extra firm. 
tofu, which will have higher protein than your soft tofu. If I'm not making a dessert with the tofu, like a pudding or something like that, you could use tofu in a smoothie too, so then I would go for soft. I always just buy extra firm because I'm usually cooking it for a savory dish as my protein of choice. So I'm cubing my cabbage to go into the pan. So with nine grams of protein, you're like, well, that's not a lot of protein. Sure, agreed. And vegetables have some protein. Now the vegetables I have here today to use in this dish are not high in protein, although the potato has some. So we're gonna add a, pro a high protein veg. Mushrooms are good choices. Legumes, of course, like beans, lentils, nuts and seeds are good choices. They are fat though, as well as a protein. So you wanna watch quantity. Peas, green peas, edamame, those are all great choices for vegetable sources of protein. Okay, let's stir it up a little bit. So that everything cooks evenly, you need to stir. You can't just let it sit there or you don't want it also to stick. So it's starting to like brown or yellow on the bottom side. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. Onions are starting to get a little translucent. So at this point, I like to flavor the tofu with a little bit of tamari or soy sauce. I'm always using organic. The reason I use organic is to reduce pesticide load. You've got 30% less pesticide load in organic produce products. So it's not that it's nutritionally superior, it's just that there's less pesticides. Okay, so now that it's been flipped and I added this, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of cube this in the pan itself by using my spatula or thing that I'm stirring with. This is bamboo, by the way. So it's all natural. I don't like to use plastic. I don't want to eat plastic. It's hormone disruptor amongst other things, carcinogenic, you name it. Now we can add in our garlic and cabbage. So I just pour it all in there. The cabbage will cook down a bit, so it will get smaller as the water cooks out. That's just natural, normal with plants. Let's stir it up to get the uncooked stuff on the bottom and the cooked stuff on top. Now let's reduce the heat a little bit. So I've gone from number four down to number two. So it's on the low end. And don't forget we have our potato. It is mostly cooked. I cooked my potato in the microwave for three minutes. For me, that's a bit on the al dente side, which I like. It's gonna cook a little bit further in the pan as well, so which is also why I aim for a little bit al dente. Okay, so the cabbage is starting to look a little bit translucent. Now don't forget we have still other seasoning to add. The only seasoning we've added so far is our Oh, look how it sticks. That's resistant starch. <laughs> resistant starch is good for us. It helps eliminate bad cholesterol in our body. So the idea that potatoes are fattening and bad for us, no, it just depends what you do to the potato that makes it bad or fattening. Potato au natural, unadulterated by butter and cream and so on, is very good for us. We're not deep fried in oil. Okay, that pan is looking pretty full, isn't it? So let's grab our seasonings. So I'm gonna cut off the end. You don't wanna eat that part. This is too much for one meal. So I'm cutting two ways, this way and then the opposite to make like it into four. And now I'm gonna cut that circumferentially 
to make my little bits. Make sure you got all the way through. It just depends how spicy you want it, how much, but for me, for one serving, this is about enough. So sprinkle that on. And now we'll add the mint. Fresh mint is so good. That's a little trick to get your leaves off your herbs. Get it started at the top and then hold at the top and gently, I know it's not gonna work, gently go down and the leaves can come off. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother to chop it. You could, you could chop this on the cutting board after taking them off the stems, but um, by the time it cooks, it's gonna be tiny pieces anyways. So I don't feel it's necessary, but by all means, do what you like. That's what it's all about, cooking. Okay, so let's stir it up. So we can add some peas to that. This is turning into a big pan. So this could become actually two meals. <laughs> But when you're eating a lot of plants, mostly veg, you know, you're gonna get hungry faster. So you might wanna eat a little bit more serving size wise. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands because I'm going to grab some cashews. Cashews will go really nicely in here. I use only raw organic nuts. They're not roasted or flavored. They're just natural and simple. So about that much. And that completes my protein. Okay, I'm going to turn the heat off and we are ready to plate it. Now you could again still add some peas to it, which would taste really nice with this actually. Yeah, why don't we go for that? Hang on. Let's throw some peas in there. This is so yummy. Got my organic peas. Now I'm not adding a ton. Just um, you, you can add whatever you like um, because I've already got the. Uh, I don't want to make this too big of a meal, but you could put a whole cup in there, and it's two meals. And then you've got dinner for later. This is lunch hour for me. I'm making this in between clients in my work day. Now I have a nice quick meal set aside for after work before I go off to rehearsals for a flamenco show. Okay, and that's it. So I didn't really use tons of things or make it over complicated with my seasoning. Simply the tamari on my tofu and the fresh mint and um, the jalapeno, the hot pepper. Now you can use dried herbs that you have in your pantry by all means. Okay, so I'm gonna plate this. And I feel like that's enough. So I'm going to set the rest aside to have later. So there you go. It was a skillet for two. I love having leftovers. It's nice to have a quick, healthy, yummy meal ready to eat. Grab later when you're in a hurry. So we'll store that in a glass container and put in the fridge. But voila, here we have our meal ready to go. 
smells delicious and it's a complete meal. We've got our protein. We've got mostly plants in here. Actually, this is all plants. There is no animal product in this. You could um, add a different protein. So if you do eat um, chicken or fish or seafood, uh, you can definitely put that on top instead of tofu. If you don't like tofu, you could use tempeh instead of tofu. Um, but don't use processed soy. So fake tofu like in the form of you know, burgers that are trying to taste like burgers or bacon that, and so on, they're highly processed. They've got all kinds of additives in them that aren't good for you. So you want to go for the raw. You want to go for soy that's minimally processed in the form of um, tofu or tempeh. Okay, if you're going vegan or plant-based completely. So 